There's also a module for Ignition called SQL Bridge, and that connects PLCs and databases. It was actually the foundation. Uh, our, 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 our CEO and President Steve talked, I think he calls this the Swiss Army knife uh, of industrial automation because it's so powerful and can do so many things. It allows you to log data across all sites to a central location. It lets you move data bidirectionally, log data easily, synchronize PLCs and data with databases, as well as a lot of other functions. Um, it's an important enough connectivity um, tool with so much function that I'm going to ask both of you guys to comment. Kyle, first off, you, and then I'll go over to Travis, but what's it like trying to connect databases with PLCs, maybe in the traditional old skate away? Can it be done? How easy is it? And how easy is it when you take the approach of the SQL Bridge? So in our experience, it's very difficult with traditional uh, HMI and SCADA platforms to connect to databases. Um, you know, tip, before we found Ignition, it would typically involve you know, diving into some VP, uh, adding the appropriate uh, connectors, you know, creating the connection to the databases, trying to manage you know, connection pools uh, you know, to get performance. Um, and then just just trying to deal with that data as it was going in and out was very difficult. Uh, you know, with Ignition, you know, you can be up and running in a matter of minutes, uh, logging data, uh, you know, both one direction or bi-directionally to your PLCs. So, uh, you know, Ignition, in, in our opinion, is is far easier for connecting to the databases and moving all this information. And uh, you know, that's why that's why we picked it as our tool of choice. Thanks, Carl. Travis, you you've been working since Legacy Product Factory SQL with this functionality. So your comments on SQL Bridge module. Yeah, Ignition, you know, is naturally deals with databases. And that's one thing to know is we're not, you're not having to do, uh, you know, like what Kyle was saying, potentially with others, we're having to code up the connections and all this other stuff. You're just really figuring out here how to map data in and out of a database. And the historian and the SQL Bridge modules, they make it so easy to put data in and out that you really don't even realize you're working with a SQL database, I mean, to be honest. Uh, but there's a lot of power in what, what you can do with databases. So the more you know about it, the, the more that this module can help you do things uh, and store data in ways that you would have never stored before. Thanks, Travis. If you think about that, let's go another step further. The subject of moving PLC data from the platform into the database, in order for you know, a SCADA system to be useful, you have to be able to move data from plant floor to a database. And PLCs are the devices it just happened to be best suited to this task. SQL databases make PLC data easily accessible by getting the data into an open format. So what are some of the ways, Kyle, that you can, you know, that you say you can use that PLC data? For us, typically it's for logging, you know, daily information uh, to do up reports. Uh, we also use it quite a bit for uh, shipping terminals. So uh, metering in, uh, you know, oil, or our product coming into a facility, uh, also leaving a facility. It's very important for come up, coming up with net balances uh, between the two to, to capture that data properly. So that's how we've used it, uh, mainly for uh, daily logs and for shipping reports. That's great. How about you, Travis, with your experience? So it, you know, the, the PLC data is one thing. Uh, certainly logging that data is very important, as Kyle said, how he's used it. Uh, but I think the other important thing is to be able to add contextual information to that process data you're putting into there from the devices. So things like work orders that you're running, you know, uh, products you're working with, the season of the year, the manufactured raw material, who the operator is, who the supervisor is, all these kinds of information. And there's a lot of other things you could log with the data. And that when you pull back those reports and you do that analysis, you can start seeing your data in different ways, slicing and dicing it. Um, and, and where you wouldn't have had that if you just had some traditional simple just logging the data to of, of, the, of the PLC. So I think it's important to think of not only the PLC data, but we're putting contextual information in a database as well that helps you get better reports. I think that's critical because when you start spreading this data across the enterprise, that context, different people want to see it differently for different reasons across the enterprise. So that context adds the value there. If you, uh, if you connect with SQL, SQL databases, um, Ignition allows users to make PLC data easily accessible, as you said. It opens other valuable data avenues. It adds context, as Travis just pointed out. You can get, um, you, you can log historical data from a SCADA system into the database. And to integrate SCADA with manufacturing execution systems, your MES side, and enterprise resource planning systems. I think all of that connectivity becomes critical to have this empowered organization with real-time data. Databases, you know, are what you 
you use them. You use them to save, to organize, to protect, to deliver data. So it just makes sense that an effective modern SCADA system will be able to work with them easily. But Ignition is actually the first database-centric, from the ground up, SCADA solution. It's also database agnostic in a sense that it doesn't limit the ways in which you communicate with a specific type of database. It allows unlimited database connections, most any type of database, including the most commonly used database, database SQL. The business world has embraced SQL databases, so they are used by most standard enterprise systems, and they're also very well supported by IT departments. They're famous for what? Their simplicity, their speed, their flexibility, ease of connectivity, and their ability to quickly query related data. Ignition leads the industry, frankly, in database accessibility and utilization. If you have existing databases like MySQL, um, or Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, and others like that, it'll work with those. That allows you to work with different types of databases and, of course, to evolve also with the latest database technology. And you can connect to multiple databases together through one platform, so it really opens up whatever your enterprise may be, you know, may be using. One of the biggest problems with old SCADA is that you can't access real-time data easily. That's because most SCADA software uses historians with proprietary technology that compresses and stores the data. And so to get that data, you have to pull it out of the proprietary software and put it into a usable format like uh, .xls or .csv files. The process takes hours or even days sometimes, and by then the data isn't even relevant anymore. So it's not really real time for sure. You can't see what's happening right now with traditional old SCADA systems because time series data is difficult to get to. It stays detached from the rest of the enterprise in most cases, and it's sort of its own data silo. Uh, but, but honestly, there's just no inherent reason why this data should be kept separate. There's no technological reason and no good organizational reason to keep it separate. And we're talking about here, you know, getting this information into real time into IT and business applications in particular. Um, you know, obviously there are ways of getting out proprietary data into uh, real time data into those those systems, but it's been isolated, like you're saying there. Yeah. And the idea of this is how do we get the enterprise to look at this information together? And that's where the openness of SQL databases is what was really what we're talking about here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a critical component because it, it, it's being able to get it and get it, get it easily in that direction. Ignition actually be, it uses SQL databases to log and store data in real time, so it's available in real time. You don't have to pull it out of proprietary storing software like I was commenting on, Travis was commenting on. You can get the real time plan for data from anywhere in the world while it's still relevant. So it gives you answers to important questions in, in what? In milliseconds instead of waiting for hours or days. Um, ERP systems worked in periods of time like weeks, months, monthly reports, quarter reports, annual, but plant floors work in milliseconds. Fields work in milliseconds. So it lets you see real-time trends and cross-reference any number of data sets. Kyle, when, when you're able to get real-time answers from your data, what kind of valuable insights and extra value does it bring when you can get that out of it? It just increases your, your speed to react. So. Um, you know, imagine, you know, one of the systems we've done in the past is, is an R&D system for large-scale oil and gas clients. You know, typically they'd be storing everything to a, a CSV or an Excel file. They wouldn't be able to analyze that data until they were done all their tests. Uh, being able to come up with the KPIs, uh, we're up, uh, on the fly, we're actually able to save them uh, 35 days of runtime at about half a million dollars a day on certain R&D projects. So there's an immediate uh, cost savings that you get by being able to react to your data uh, as it's happening. Thanks, Kyle. Uh, bottom line, uh, frankly, is you can do all of these things. You can store data from PLCs and devices. You can get time series data in real time. You can connect your SCADA with MES and ERP just by connecting to relational databases. And when you're in Ignition, all you need to do is click on the Create New Database Connection option in the Ignition Gateway.